Mounting a strobe on the top of your Mavic 3, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. If that's something you're interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. So as mentioned in the intro today, we're gonna to talk about how to mount a strobe on top of the Mavic 3. We've come up with a new 3D printed part uh, in addition to our arm mounts that we've offered for quite some time for the Mavic 3. Uh, this part is similar to the one we came up with for the Air 2, Air 2 S. Uh, so if you're familiar with that product, you'll be uh, familiar with this one a little bit as well and how it works. Here we have the Firehouse Technology Arc 5 strobe. Uh, it is one of my favorite strobes. We have plenty of other videos on this strobe, so we're not going to get into the functions of it in this video. If you want to learn more about it, check out this video up here in the corner, and it'll tell you much more about the strobe itself. So now this is the strobe mount that we have developed for the top of the Mavic 3. Uh, it's 3D printed out of a PLA uh, Plus material, so it's very strong. Uh, it's stronger than ABS. And it comes in two different colors. It comes in the uh, dark gray color as well as a black color depending on which you like. Both match the drone fairly well. Now installation is fairly simple. Uh, in order to install this, first you need to install the strobe itself. Uh, you grab your Firehouse Technology Arc 5 strobe and simply slide it in from the back side. It should just have enough friction just to stay uh, in there for you while you're getting ready to install it on the drone. Now you'll notice that the strobe mount has a taper toward the back just like the, uh, the drone itself has. It also has two vent holes to keep the vents open. On the bottom you'll notice that there are two retention clips. These retention clips fit into this portion of the drone. This is the same retention point that DJI uses for their wireless dongle for uh, flying over cellular. Uh, not available in the U.S. unfortunately, but um, so it, it'll, those little mounting points will slide right into that. Now installation on the drone is fairly straightforward. You're going to start by uh, aligning these two points with where the color change is on the drone from black to gray. And then you're going to slowly just push it forward and down. Now once it's at this point it is not secured yet, you'll notice that uh, um, even though it is aligned with this hole, uh, it does need to align further up. So let me show you, we're going to slide it forward until you hear a click, and then it aligns with the front holes, and that's where we want it. Now this isn't going to come off, you can hold the drone by it, you can shake it around, it's, it's not going anywhere. So now both the on off button and the charging port are both available for you. There's uh, cutouts for those uh, so you can charge it, you can turn it on and off while it's on the uh, in the mount. So here's the black one installed. Uh, one thing to mention, you are not covering the GPS in any way. Uh, the GPS is located all the way up here so it's definitely far enough away to not cover the GPS. Uh, we do leave um, Probably 95% of the, the um, holes open for the venting, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, there is a fan located right here inside the drone that draws air in one side and expels it out the other side. Uh, so the, both those vent holes on the sides are uh, available to draw air in and let it out. Now removal of the strobe mount is uh, just directly opposite of what we did to install it. You do need to remove these two clips from their retaining points. So the easiest way to do that is just to put your thumbs on top of the strobe mount and just barely pry outward until those clips release. You slide it backwards and then you barely rotate out as you pull it off. So it's just an, a motion where you just pull and rotate out. So that is it for this video. If you found it helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. Products shown in the video today will be located down in the description below from our website, our Etsy store, and our eBay store. If you have any comments, feel free to comment down below. We'll get back to you. Or you can also hit us up on our website. We have a Facebook Connect icon there in the lower right-hand corner, and we can get in touch with you that way as well. So that's it. Fly safe and bye for now.